Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I wanted to make um, some, when I, I have an idea using um, these book pages um, of doing, it's like an envelope pocket um, embellishment to add it to your like book pages on your journal. Um, I saw an idea on Pinterest. I saw this on Pinterest and the um, the person who was making this, I don't know who it was. It was like a short video. She, um, she stitched around the whole thing and closed it and then embellish it. But I want to create a double pocket, putting this inside of this and that will be my first pocket. And then I'm gonna have a side like a tuck spot, belly band, small, I don't know how to call it, but that's the idea that I want to do with book pages. Um, I was using larger book pages and I grabbed my French book, but I think this is gonna be, well, I, I will try. Um, let me get the other papers I have here. The other book that I was using first. Um, and I can make, maybe do two sizes one with this and then with this ones but i i want to do a couple maybe two or three embellishments i like this because of the vintage feel but i don't know we will try and see i will give you measurements of my book pages but you can use any pages that you like or you have at home this one is six and a quarter by four and three quarters and then this one's they are eight inches by five. So eight by five. Um, and then the other ones are smaller. So let me show you what I did. I, this is the book page. And the, the only thing that I did is the, this on the top, like a um, triangle py pyramid um, on the top. And then I fold the sides, you know, closer to the center. And I fold the bottom like this, then in half. And then this is supposed to go inside of these two flaps here. If I can put it inside, let me see. Okay, now. So that, 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 there you have it. It's like a, uh, it looked like an envelope. Maybe you can close it like that, but I wanna keep this up like that because I'm thinking to add some, maybe later on, um, some um, dangles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking for the word. So what my idea is, I'm gonna close the flap here, on the, here, you know, this flap. And then I wanted to have this pocket on the top here. And then this here that maybe um, you can use like a tuck spot or like a, a small belly band that you can put something inside, maybe a bookmark, a tag, something. I just want to do the base right now and then I will figure out what I want to put inside. But in order to do that, um, instead of what she did that she stitched around and close everything and it was just an embellishment nothing open like to put anything inside um what i want to do is to cover this part here with another piece of book that way i will create my pocket right there and then the other part will go inside there well you will see um i'm trying to give you instruction but i think the best way to show you how this work is by creating one together. So go grab your book pages. You can use music pages, dictionary pages, whatever you have available at home. I'm gonna try with this one now since I had this one ready here. Um, all right, let me show you what I'm thinking to use as my, uh, to decorate, I had this from flowers, I think they're from tin holes that I have been receiving on Happy Mail. I had these die cut stickers, let me show you here. 
That's what is inside of my package. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99, half percent off. The same with this one. It's the same thing, die cut stickers. That's what is inside. Same price, same discount. So I may use this as decoration. I also have some um, trim, lace, um, some things around here on my side. My sentiments, scraps of fabric and trims. So I have all that to decorate. So let's start. It's easier if you fold your, you know, you find your middle of your page. I don't wanna mark it all the way down, but I wanna mark here. And I'm gonna fold my corners inside like this. I want to be careful because my pages are all this book I've been using on different um, projects and it's from, I think it's nine, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's 1954. Um, so I want to glue this down. The person who did this um, on Pinterest didn't do anything with this, but since I'm going to do something different, when I glue that down, um, let me grab a piece of something to protect my desk. If I can find anything here. I'm gonna use that. I have my plastic, um, um, it's like a cutting board, but I don't know. I cleaned it the other day because I was doing mixed media and got all messed up. But this will work. So I'm just going to close this here. And here it don't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter to me, but if it bothers you, just try to be more close-ish, flap closer to the center. And then I'm just gonna guide myself here with the border of the book with where the white edge here, the edge here is, no, no, it don't have a letters or anything. But I don't know if it's, that's the size that I'm gonna use. Let's see, because I, I, I already tried with this one and I already know, you know, so how I want this. So let's see with this one. I'm gonna fold this right here. This is so little. I like the other side better, but we can use this too. We can do different sizes. And I'm gonna pick another book page. Cause I wanna cover this, you know, to create like my envelope inside. So I'm gonna cut I'm sorry, I'm trying to see to mark here where I'm gonna cut. It's gonna go to the corner here. And you know I had the idea on my mind but I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I just saw that and I, I found that on Pinterest and it looks so cute. So I wanted to try it. But of course I'm gonna do my own twist. Sorry, this will go here on the top. And that will be, this is kind of crooked. Let me cut it better. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this. Don't close this here, cause that's gonna be your pocket for your envelope, you know, the pocket, the first pocket. So I'm just gonna do it here on the flaps. And 
and that will give you the oh look i cut two page two papers i have two pages together okay so that's the pocket on the back and then i may put some glue here and here so when i put this inside and i think i think i gonna remove some of this so i can so it's not that bulky Perfect. So I'm going to put glue here. I don't know if I should close this because when I put something inside, it, it can get um, cap here. So I'm just going to close this a little bit, this flaps. I should do that on the next one first, but I just thought about it. Okay, now. Sure that everything is glue. So now I had my pocket here and then a pocket here. You can put something you know longer than this and it will go. I will do a tag or maybe put two journaling cards small. This is small with some tabs, one to this side and one to this side. So anything that you want to put a hidden message here, but I wanted to leave it open. You can close one of the ends and have like a side pocket, but I want this to be open like this, to be able to use it like a belly band or, you know, as a pocket, but it's up to you. And also you can close everything and just embellish this. So let's do this one too. Let me just glue down everything. I like the other paper better. This, I'm gonna glue here. I don't want to remove this. Oh, my face. My hand is getting sticky with the glue. Forgot to cut this before I added the glue. And this don't have to be perfect. Remember, don't put glue here because that's your pocket, the back pocket. This is so crooked. Man, wait, this is the size. But it's so crooked. And I don't want to go all the way up here. Maybe a little bit there. My goodness. 
I can cut straight even if I want to, I don't know. So difficult for me. Okay, so let me glue, put my glue here. Make sure that this close. to trim it a little bit here and there my glue's flying everywhere this one is kind of like no center here, like it's no, when I fold the paper, it's not straight, but that's fine because I'm gonna decorate this. I'm not gonna, oh, I love this one, but I wanted two different sizes. I need one more glue. Okay, let's decorate this too. If we have more time, we will do one more, maybe of this one, because I like this one a lot. I'm gonna put my book pages to the side. And let's see. I'm gonna open them and then I will decide what I want to use. And I, of course, I'm gonna keep the packaging. I already have four that I want to use. And I'm gonna take everything out and see. One of each. Um, this, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna use this too big. This is a maybe. This is called so cute, be kind. And be bold, be brave, be you. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Is it the same thing? No. Um, happiness blooms from within. I like that. Let's do one. It's gonna grab one or each. They're not too big. And I will decide what I'm gonna use. Uh, no, not this one. So I think I'm not gonna use the thing hold flowers because I really like in this die cuts. So I'm gonna stick with my die cuts. I put this to the side. I know I should have picked this before, but I wanted to show you the packaging and everything. I know. Look, maybe I can use this inside of this. I will think about it. I don't want the keys. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep one of those out. So I really know I wanna use this inside one of my pockets in the back. And look, I got another thing here. Yes, perfect. I really love these die cuts. I got them like maybe two weeks ago 
and I was dying to use, I don't I'm gonna use this, mm, this is too big, so I was dying to use them, but I've been busy doing some decorations for my church for an event, and I have take my time away, so, but I couldn't wait anymore, I say I have to do something today, so let's see, let's decorate, let me get my trims, I had this too, let me grab my scraps, I have my sentiments here, I also had this that it was from a digital kit that I used when I was doing the collaboration with Ray and Bella Crafts. It's some sentiments that I had left. I had, I, I'm gonna keep them here just in case because of the color. I also have my archival ink for this dressing. So let's see, let's pick first what we're gonna use. Okay, I know this may go here and this one, and this one is gonna go back here. And then maybe this one, I will add something there. And this one we can use it here. Okay, so this two for this one. And this two for this one. These are sticker, but I'm gonna um, add like journaling paper, like line paper in the back. Man, it doesn't matter if this go out, um, out from your pocket because I, I may cut it. I like that. Then for this one, maybe I should do both, both of them purple. No, this is too big. Maybe a butterfly for this one. Okay, I like that one. No, I don't gonna use that. So for this one, I may use a butterfly and I kind of like that. Let me see what butterfly I want. Kind of like this one, but this one. Hmm, I like this one too. I'm in between, in between. But I think this one is the one that goes best with the size of the envelope. So I think I may skip, uh, keep this one. So let's start, let's start with this one. What's my order? The other butterfly that I like. Okay, I'm gonna stick with with that one, with the blue one. So let me distress this. Just that I want this to look vintage and this have all that gold. So that's what is throwing me off. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So let me just distress this real quick. Just using my coffee archival ink, the brown one. I wonder if I should round my top here. I 
indented. I think I'm gonna round it. I'm distressing the back because you know, I can always decide to just leave it like this and attach it on my journal with a paper clip or on a, uh, put it on a pocket in a tuck spot. So I don't know if I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna glue it down to the paper, to the page, I'm sorry. And use it as a belly band. So let me run my corner here. my top i like it better like that okay so now let's decorate i think i'm gonna go with this one I also have, I have this, I got it at Dollar Tree. one this should be an easy foam project maybe you can like Create all the bases like your mini envelope thing, and then another day you can like decorate. Oh my goodness, this scissors are so sticky. It's raining a lot here, thunder, lightning. So as you hear those noises are thunder. Gonna distress this, and this is a sticker. Let's see, but I'm gonna add more glue. So I can hold that in place, and then. My deal with the butterfly. There's another one here. This looks like a mob, but it's too, it's too long. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think I decided this is the one that I was gonna use right before. After the blue one, oh, I love the blue one, but I'm not, because of the color, I don't wanna go use it right now. I'm gonna go with this one. But I'm not gonna remove the back because I know some of my butterflies gonna be hanging, so. Hanging to the side, so I'm not gonna add 
I'm not gonna open, you know, remove the backing of my butterfly. Okay, perfect. And then a sentiment. Make it happen, let me see. It's too long. Let's see, be awesome. They say postcard and something there, but it's too small. Let me see if I can read it. It says, no, forget it. I'm not going to be able to see that. Okay, I like that. I think I'm going to go with a postcard thing. It's going to distress it and make it more... Vintage because it's too white. like it what do you think let me put it closer so you can see it okay so let's decorate this one for this one i like this i think i i like this one like that right there yes i'm gonna go with that but let me see what color do i want to distress this blue a blue purple purple I'm gonna go with blue. Let's just try it blue. Because I didn't got my purple out and I already had the blue here, so. And I'm using my Nice Sky Archival Ink. Oh, let me round the, cor the top here. this down better here let me get my glue Distress. Just gonna cut this piece here. I don't 
light is hanging there. So let's cut that. Put in, let me get this blue here. Maybe I, I will use it for something, this blue one. Maybe, maybe. I like that. Let's let's go with it. Not gonna even think. Or oh, maybe in the top. No. So now, and I want this here. I want to cut. I think I'm going to cut this. like this so I think it's gonna fussy cut this here I don't know if I want to add anything else here. This I think I'm gonna use uh, white. You can hardly see it, so I may use it, I may not. But let me see, my flowers are gonna go like that, right there. So let me add the glue. I want to say something to me, but she saw that I'm recording and she went away. Um, I have to tell her, you can come in and say hello, but she's kind of shy. Oh, I love that. And then, then. Trying to see if I want to add anything else before I put my sentiment. I had this, but it's white on white. Let me get something here real quick.
à. I want to add something else. Um, let me glue this down. I feel like I need, well, I'm going to use this sentiment. Maybe be awesome. flower there look kind of purplish well, this is purple, but I don't know if I like this, that one. Don't like that color too much. I'm trying to see, because I feel like I want to add something here, but I don't know yet what I want. something the sentiment and then okay I'm getting there on what I want so I may use my goodness it's just the flowers let me see if I have another color here Oh, look, I have purple. Let's use purple. I have some of my purple left. Yeah, I like that. So let's see. Let's try this one more time. Yes, I like that. I'm not gonna even think too much about it. Let's glue my flower down there. Oh, yes. And then now the sentiment in between be awesome or less perfection, more authenticity. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I, I feel like something longer will go better there. Just gonna cut some of this white edges a little bit more. And distress the edges, of course. To take some of that white away. After I'm done recording, I think I'm gonna go and do some more of this because I, I am really having fun. I love this. I think I'm gonna go with another purple. Mm 
Do you go? So it's ready. It's ready. I love it. I love this. And then we put some things to the side so we can have more space here. out of the way okay so now I don't have any line paper right now here let me see no I don't have any here available to me right now because I wanted to do this as a tag but I will add something to the top this will go that right there I'm gonna glue this on top here and then I will have my tab showing like to the side like that. Something like that. But I want to add my line paper in the back. So for now, I'm gonna put this here on the top. Same with this one. This one is gonna go here on the side. Did I close my thing? No almost almost there so this is gonna go here on the side with a tab and then this one is gonna go here on the top this one say drain up something wonderful i didn't show you this one close so but for now because i don't want it because too small i'm gonna put it here on the top for now until i am done so this is it we are done. Show you one more time. And then. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel today. I also wanted to let you know um, before I say goodbye. Um, I'm gonna be, one of my tutorial was featured as a swap on Linda Israel's group. Um, it's gonna be an event, a swap, or that you can participate. So I'm gonna leave a link to that video, that tutorial um, on the description box. It's a tutorial that I did where I alter a, a towel paper roll and I created like a booklet kind of flip book. Um, also I'm gonna leave the groups um, link below in case you want to check it out and participate on that event and you know that will support me greatly because uh, you know if you support me that way I will be very very grateful to you um, just go and participate in that event um, and maybe become a member of the group also I'm gonna leave on the description box um, I don't know if I have a link for where I got this idea. It was on Pinterest and I don't even remember when I saw that, but I'm gonna leave the link. Also, I'm having a giveaway. If you're not a subscriber and you subscribe and share my channel to your friends and family, you can win a beautiful, let me show you here, nine signature half open spine it's kind of chubby chic vintage journal. I have nine signature, 198 pages. So I also having that giveaway. I'm gonna leave the link below where you can see a flip through, a video that I have for a flip through. So please support me. Um, it's free to 
subscribe to my channel to share my channel with your friends and family give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so every time that i do a tutorial you will get notified and all those are ways to support me on this journey so thank you so much for watching happy crafting see you in the next tutorial